previously, we've discussed K-dramas that are fairly popular to the Western audience. You know, to the point that they were going to get Hollywood remakes. But honestly, those are not the only K-dramas appreciated worldwide, as other foreign countries have also attempted their own versions of K-dramas. Today, let's discuss successful and interesting series that got foreign remakes. And who knows? Maybe you can find a decent adaptation in your own language. Number 1. Signal Released in 2016, a year filled with legendary K-dramas like Reply 1988, Descendants of the Sun, Goblin, and so on, yet Signal wasn't at all overshadowed, winning both Best Drama and Best Screenplay at the prestigious Big Sang Awards. And it sure did deserve it, as the series combined the fantasy and investigation genre, and had our male lead Pak Hae Young find a walkie-talkie that can connect to the past. Packed with intense mind battles, strong writing, and an extremely talented cast, including Lee Jae-hoon, Kim Hyesu, and Cho Jin Wong, Signal is a must-watch drama to whoever is interested in mystery and investigation. The series had enjoyed international success, particularly in China and Japan, so it came as no surprise when Signal announced Chinese and Japanese adaptations. The Japanese version, in particular, started airing in 2018 and was also named Signal. It received a fair reception and was broadcast in seven other countries, including Indonesia, Mongolia, Myanmar, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, and Vietnam. One of the series' OST, Don't Leave Me, was sung by the famous K-pop boy group BTS, and thus also came to great attention from the public. Meanwhile, the Chinese version, named Unknown Number, was aired exclusively on Tencent Video, which meant it is sadly unavailable to the rest of the world. Number 2. Descendants of the Sun Boasting a famous cast, including Song Joong Ki and Song Hye Kyo, Descendants of the Sun gave us quite the chaotic love story between a soldier and a doctor. Full of iconic moments, it was massively popular both domestically and worldwide, with ratings surpassing 35% in South Korea and translated into 32 different languages for broadcasting in 32 countries. The series was particularly successful in China and was the first Korean drama to be simultaneously released in the two countries. Rights to stream the series amounted up to $250,000 US dollars per episode in China alone, which speaks volumes about its popularity. And it seems that Descendants of the Sun was attractive enough for other countries to want their own versions. In 2016, a Chinese remake was announced, though it was planned for film format and, unfortunately, still hasn't seen the light of day. The Vietnamese version, meanwhile, was released in 2018 with 48 episodes, though it wasn't too well received domestically. The Philippines also attempted to adapt this famous series in 2020, which was streamed online on YouTube and has a total of 65 episodes. The Philippines version did quite well, with ratings surpassing 10%, and even won itself the most popular foreign drama award at the Seoul International Drama Awards. Have you given any of these versions a try? Number 3. Oh My Ghost Despite being released on a paid network back in 2015, Oh My Ghost had achieved a 7.3% rating in its final episode, which is a respectable feat at that time. Starring famous actresses Park Bo Young and Kim Seul Gi, as well as Jo Jung Suk, the series combined fantasy with mystery to give us a fun, yet thrilling journey. It follows the timid chef in training Na Bong Sun, who had the ability to see ghosts, <laughs> and ended up being possessed by the ghost Shin Soon A. This switched up her entire life including her arrogant boss Kang Sun Woo. And one thing after another, they ended up seeking the truth behind Sun A's death. It was hilarious yet serious at the same time, and was quite the journey. While not as big as our aforementioned series, Oh My Ghost actually gained quite the popularity in Southeast Asia, particularly in the country of Thailand. This nation purchased the rights to the drama right after it aired, and eventually released their own adaptation in 2018. You can actually find the Thai remake on Netflix under the same name, Oh My Ghost. And from personal experience, it is pretty enjoyable, if not even on par with the original. Number 4. School 2015 School 2015 takes the setting of the prestigious Sekong Private School and follows the twin sisters Eun Bi and Eun Byul who live completely different lives. While Eun Bi is an orphan child ruthlessly bullied at school, Eun Byul was adopted by rich parents and was her school's star swimmer. Well, one thing leads to another and Eun Bi lost her memories and assumed her sister's identity. 
It's a good series that delivers a strong message against school violence, and at the same time, brings us romance in the form of a love triangle. Heed with caution, though, if you are team second lead. Now, as the sixth installment of the school franchise, School 2015 didn't do spectacularly well compared to its predecessors, namely School 1 through 4 and School 2013. However, its international fame, particularly in China and Thailand, was a different story. The Thai remake, in particular, was released in May 2020 on the YouTube channel of GMMTV, with English subtitles, just in case you were curious. Meanwhile, the Chinese adaptation made it to the screen way back in 2017, under the name When We Were Young. By the way, if you are a hard-hearted second lead fanatic and wish the original series to end with two couples, the Chinese version is the way to go. Number 5. My Love from the Star Starring Hallyu stars Kim Soo Hyun and Jun Ji Hyun, the 2014 series My Love from the Stars gained a massive following in Korea with a sky-high average viewership rating of 24% introducing the love story of a celestial being and a famous actress in her decline, the series also made its way to the heart of many international audiences, having been to nearly 20 countries and acquired by top streaming platforms like VU, Viki, Netflix, and IKEA. It also became a cultural phenomenon, mind you not, as everyone was craving for the female lead's favorite Korean fried chicken, and everyone admired the series' stunning fashion. China, in particular, was obsessed with the show. It was one of the most viewed shows on IKEA, with 14.5 million streams in just three months since it aired. The series was also re-edited into a feature-length film and re-released in Chinese cinema in 2014. My Love from the Stars also attracted Hollywood's attention, and productions were planned for a US version in 2014. Sadly, it didn't come through, despite that ABC and Sony Pictures had bought rights to reproduce the series. In addition to these two events, you can also find a Philippine remake on GMA Network, which achieved notable fame. A Thai remake, meanwhile, was aired on Channel 3 and didn't attract much attention. Number 6. She Was Pretty Now, let's delve into what is probably the K-drama with the highest number of remakes in history. And yes, that was none other than She Was Pretty, which starred Huang jung um and Park So-jun back in 2015. The series' plot was pretty simple. Our leads, Hye Jin and Sung Joon, were childhood friends, until Sung Joon suddenly had to move. Hye Jin's family later went bankrupt, leading to her experiencing constant hardship and losing her beauty. When Sung Joon comes back, Hye Jin was too embarrassed to meet him, and so coerced her attractive best friend Ha Ri to go in her stead. At the same time, Hye Jin ran into constant panic at the office as Sung Joon turns out to be her own boss. Well, the motif may sound basic, but at the time of air, She Was Pretty was the big thing. The show's viewership rating skyrocketed from a meager 4.9% to over 17%, and the series was later broadcasted officially in the Philippines, Latin America, Ecuador, Peru, and Indonesia. It also got a whopping six adaptations in total, starting with the Turkish version that aired in 2016, followed by a Chinese adaptation in 2017. Next, we have a 2018 Indian remake in Tamil, followed by a Vietnamese version, which started airing in 2019. Even in 2021, She Was Pretty seemed to still retain its heat, as the year boasted a Japanese remake and a Thai adaptation, all in the same year. It seems like the show is well on its way to becoming an international classic. Of course, these aren't the only K-dramas with their fair share of adaptations. There are also other notable series like Coffee Prince, you're Beautiful, My Girl, Good Doctor, etc., with their fair share of adaptations. Have you watched any of these series or their remakes? Which did you prefer, the original or the adaptation? Let us know in the comment sections. And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!